It happens. This is boxing, after all. It doesn't matter that you got knocked down. You can get him back in the next round. You did the right thing, though. You took your time and you got back up. Your father would be proud of you. You're whooping my ass. That's what Damn. champions do, Andre. They get back up. Y'all already got me knocked down and shit. I don't know who knocked me down. Man. Oh. Boy, get your ass back, boy. What are you talking about? What you, what are you talking about, boy? Come on, how is he whooping my ass? No, let me go. What is that? Ammonia. That shit'll wake you right up. What he hit me with? <laughs> His head. Damn. Yeah. Here's a penitentiary, son. Never been gonna do shit but count somebody out, which means you got to knock that cracker on his ass. Yeah. And you got one round. Knock the fucker on his ass. Knock the fucker on his ass. Yeah, G Pop, let's get it. Get your ass up. Come on. Do work. What a bitch. Oh, good dodging. Okay, then. Yes, boy, come on. That's how we do it, man. Malcolm X. Congratulations on your victory, boy. You look real good out there. We're really fucking impressed. Welcome to the real world, baby! <laughs> Nighty night, bitch. I bet. I'm gonna shank the shit out of him. Really? Easy, Nessa. Don't try to talk. Just take it easy now. You're lucky they left you breathing. I wasn't always this lucky. Champ for nine years. Nine years. Are you gonna let him make it ten? That's right. That's why we're here to get the gold medal. Now go get him, kid. All right. 
So here we go with round number one. Andre Bishop really attempting to climb a mountain that nobody's been able to scale so far here in the World Amateur Games over the course of nearly a decade. The fine Cuban, Joel Savone, nine straight years as the gold medalist in these World Amateur Games. He gives as well as he takes. You saw Watch it on out, that exchange. Get the hell out of me. Halfway through round number one. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Accurate uppercut after taking a shot of his own. When a right-handed fighter faces a southpaw like we see here tonight, Teddy, that right jab is right up against his jab. That's absolutely right. And you know what? He is damaged. Oh, a big shot comes off for him. And a big punch connects and floors him here in round one. Let's go. And how would you expect it? His opponent usually not a quick starter. Joel Savone's oh. back up, but is he back in the fight? We're going to find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. And just grabbing on. Hey. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Andre Bishop. Savone's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Good left hand by Andre Bishop. Savone's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Yeah, he better do I'm just... That is exactly hey. what he wanted to see it of Andre Bishop. Scoring the knockdown in that last round with such technical precision. Yeah, that's the thing that got me. Not that he scored the knockdown with his opponent, but how he did it. He set it up beautifully. He lured him into a trap and snapped that hook right off. If things stay this way, Andre Bishop is going to coast into victory. He has a considerable lead against Joel Savone. Bishop's doing well, sticking to a game plan on the outside. Savone's lack of defense, especially when it comes with just getting away from that right hand, is really costing him a lot here. Well, it's pretty simple. The old timers would say, move your head, otherwise your opponent will move it for you. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. Forceful two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Look at that! The hook came home with ease. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Scored well with that straight left. Bishop's hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? right hand by Andre Bishop. He needs more of that. Man, we throwing him playing. What's up, boy? Joel Savone now just showing good, steady, solid work landing that jab. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Andre Bishop. Exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Andre no, 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 no. That was a good round for Andre Bishop. He just went out there and controlled everything. And he did it fundamentally, too. He used the jab. He set up the body attack. He did it like a good, solid fighter. I think Joel Savone may be as shocked as the rest of us. Andre Bishop is scoring often. 
See, Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Now, this is exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. They're together. Now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Effective with that one-two. You can actually see how heavy Bishop is breathing right now. He's desperate to get some air into those lungs. He better close that mouth before he's desperate to get his jaw wide. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Looking to the body. Bishop's three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. And now he's targeting upstairs. Savone's hoping to recover right here. The way to do it, he feels to tie up. Yeah, it's not about machoism right now. It's about getting past this point, surviving, and then having a chance later on to get back to win the fight. Commits to the straight right. Sharp and accurate one-two by Andre Bishop. Joel Savone's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Come on, let's go. I want that knockout. You watch this kind man. of an effort tonight by Andre Bishop, and knockout. you completely understand why his trainer, Gus Carisi, says the things he says about him. Yeah, and you understand why he thinks he will be a star. Not just a champion, but a guy who will draw crowds. And I'm not surprised, or at least I wouldn't be surprised, if he's not in the corner right now telling him, go out there and close the show. Joel Savone was a substantial favorite here against the young upstart Andre Bishop, but Bishop is in control and headed to victory. Bishop's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch. Did you see that? And Let's go. Again, what are you talking about? Down. The question is, can he rise up again? I gotta clip that. Stay down. Come on. Oh, Andre God. Bishop. He is able to knock out the nine-time defending gold medalist Joel Savone. You can already imagine what's going to be said about Andre Bishop as he launches his pro career ahead. Andre, how does it feel to be named fighter of the games? It's terrific, honestly. Being voted fighter of yeah, the games. Yeah, baby. It's an honor. <laughs> gold medal, baby. Yeah. Get the hell up uh, off me like that, This is my though. baby brother, my oh, big shit. baby brother, Ray. Hey, big baby He's Bishop. Great. I'm a fighter, too, and one day I'm going to be right where he is now. <laughs> Like I was saying, it's a lot of talented boxers out here, and it's an honor hey, just being. Hey, Bishop Brothers are in the house. Big Baby Bishop, what? It was a fabulous Big tournament. Uh -huh. Truly exciting to watch. But even more exciting, McQueen Promotions is pleased to announce that we've just added Isaac Frost to our roster of boxing talent. Isaac Frost. Isaac, are you disappointed that Andre Bishop won Fighter of the Games? Disappointed. <laughs> I'm the heavyweight gold medalist. No one went the distance with me. Nobody here could ever go the distance with me. I am the best fighter at these games, period. Andre Bishop is a talented middleweight, but I, I think uh, Isaac makes a good point. Regardless, both these young men could have very bright futures in professional boxing. kid you got your father's power he certainly does his father hit like a heavyweight too <laughs> gus 
Despite our differences, I've always said you're one of the best trainers in the business. I don't care what you say about me, Queen. <laughs> always nice to see you, Megan. Always nice to see you too, Gus. I'm bringing my daughter into the business. You know how good she is with fighters. I want her to manage Andre. You're a great trainer. Why not concentrate on what you do best and let Megan and I concentrate on Andre's career? Thanks, but I think I can handle it. Isaac Frost will be fighting for a title within two years. I can do that for you, too. Thanks, but I can handle it. Did this old man ever get your father a title shot? And I don't want it, man. On his way. The only way to the title is through me. Not if nobody can beat me. Oh, you think so? You don't know who you're fucking with. Dad. You've been listening to this stupid old man. Dad. You don't know who you're fucking ass up. with. Man, shut your ass up. I apologize. No, you have no reason to apologize. But your father, on the other hand, he chews fighters up and he spits them out. Gus, if we just... Megan, you a good egg. But no way are we getting in bed with D.L. McQueen. I respect your decision. You better, shit. What are you talking about? Lucius Palmer likes to run, but he'll get aggressive at the end of each round. He's good at stealing fights. Good luck, Andre. Thanks, Megan. She wants to fight. She's right about Palmer. She's a smart girl, that Megan. 